like to welcome you to Plymouth Profiles. Plymouth Profiles is an opportunity to meet with people from the greater Plymouth area. And joining me today are several of my friends from the Pine Hills Partners BNI Business Networking International Chapter. Joining me today are Fang Chi Li and also Suzanne Gordon and Kim Canducci. Welcome to all of you. Thank and you. Uh, Fang, why yes. don't you begin and give us a little bit about your background. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Chinese. I come from Taiwan. Taiwan is Formosa, beautiful islands. Since I a little girl, I like to do martial art, Chinese martial art. Um, I, that time I think I'm not too bad, so I went to my high school champion, national champions. Now I got a scholarship direct to go to college. Uh, after the college, that's built on my, my career. So I teaching and coaching, also compete. That time I went to uh, um, high school national champion college, then compete in the na uh, national teams, also teaching college. Then I want to promote my career. Now I come to United States study, Springfield College study, so uh, so complete my physical education, my education background is physical education, PE teacher. Now at the same time I got my master degree for sport and recreation management. So that's why I like American very much. So now I back to my country, continue teaching, uh, because that's my passion for teaching. And then because of my children, I had two boys, uh, I wanted to have better education. That's why I was immigrant around the uh, end of 2000, we immigrant in this country uh, for my, better for my, my children's education. Now I need to know, find out how can we do get a job. Now I really think I think good is teaching, since I teach mo most of my whole life. My career is for Tai Chi. Then also help American here to promote the house, keep the house. That's why I created my company, my business is Tai Chi and Qigong with Fong. <laughs> so because we know Tai Chi is good for everyone, that's why I enjoy and teaching and helping people also my children establish here they're so happy here they graduate from here high school uh, first of all junior high high school then graduate college so they run up very independent very uh, have good hands and me here I'm happy so my job and teaching so right now I kind of really teaching is like 30 years more than 30 years for my whole life. So I'm still continue to do it. I enjoy my life and teaching. Good. Yes, thank you. That's great. Everyone, good morning. My name is Fang Zili. My business is Tai Chi and Qigong with Fang. And according AARP research, tell about Tai Chi is very slowly movement can help people release the stress. The Yichi movement release stress at the same time, maintain your balance, keep your body more, identify your body for each step by step. So really encouraging special the older people, senior come to learn Tai Chi, the study show. So if anyone know someone need to reduce the stress, uh, maintain the health, can refer to me, come to Tai Chi and Qigong with fun class. So Tai Chi and Qigong is good for you. Thank you. We're going to invite the people. Who, do you, who are the people you brought with you? Uh, two from my school, my students. Uh, one is uh, Peter Trainers, the other is Rich McNeil. Okay. Yes. All right, and what do you plan to show us with their demonstration? Uh, okay. Yeah, I most I teaching Tai Chi is young style, yeah. uh, thirty seven steps. Okay. But today I want to show you only first steps. Okay. Uh, thirty uh, first step. So that was what we're doing. So you can see from they do each movement very slow. They have sequence step by steps. 
Then yes, then they also follow like breathe together. Okay, and we're now going to go to them on the camera. And now you can see both of them. There's Peter. Yeah, Peter and Reggie. Okay. And talk us through what they're doing. All right. So right now they do a 37 stop. First of all, they will do courtesy. Then they begin to breathe in. So you can see they breathe in. When they move their arm, they come back, they breathe out. They do face face slowly, study breathing with the full gentle motions. You can see each motion steps this relay with self defense offense two. Now when they do Tai Chi, the movement is improve each one. The balance, you can see the free control the balance slowly. Keep also the mind sharper. Then also according study, this movement can reduce the stress. Be all the concentrate for the body strength. Healing the internal organs. So you can see the breathing, soft movement. The free coordinate together, you can feel it together, breathe, feel tranquility with the do together. Uh, Peter learned Tai Chi with me already four years. Richard learned Tai Chi with me six, let me think, actually kind of six months, seven or six months. All right, very good. Then they prepare ending, you see very slowly, beautiful. Tranquility. This is a Chinese courtesy. After that, we like to say xie xie, which means is thank you. Xie xie. What kind of class would that be, um, that they would be in if they were with you? Usually in my class, we don't separate with beginner or advanced students. We all learn together, but at the same time, they learn for themselves with 20 individuals but also together because the group had grouped the energy you can feel energy with them with the self the each one they learn by themselves with me then we will have group group uh, learn project together so they can help each other so what they learn when they help each other then they know how much they learn so far so Tai Chi is not for compete, it's for the self-improvement. What's the age of your youngest student? Oh, my, uh, most of my age student right now is like between 30 to, 30 to 95. 95? Oh, yeah, I have, actually I had one is 27, sorry, 27 to 95 yeah, years old, so it's huge. Okay, and then right now we're training youth. Uh, at uh, the later on, we go to youth center to teach youth. But most of my school is for adult. Yes, later we have youth to teach into my school. Yes. And does everybody come to your school? No, no, no. Since BNI, BNI, <laughs> uh, I really expand my business. So I right now I teach in eight location. Wow. One location is my schools. Okay. Yes. And what are the other locations? Give us an example of Okay, for example, like Kingston and Primus Council on Aging. That's why we had 95. I had four or five, 90, over 90 years old students because of Council on Aging. Now also I teach in Pine Hill uh, and Gray Island. That's my regional school. Pine Hill and Gray Island. Uh, my school, Kingston, Kingston Recreation Department. Development, the Kingston Recreation Department, also Kingston 
whole flow, whole flow, yes. Then the other I do the uh, rehab center, radius health needs care, and the radius for resident, also for the rehab people, the center layer. So I also help the patient healing the body, um, um, slowly, gentle, then when they go home, they still can continue improve their health. That's what I do, that's my basis of my different school. My school is downtown premise and beautiful ocean view, very nice, yes. Good, since English is your second language, Yes. talk to us in Chinese. All right, good, I got to teach you <laughs> Chinese today. Okay, first of all, you already learned xie xie. This is a thank you, yeah? So also you got it very easy, say ni hao, hao yeah. which means is hi, how are you? Say ni hao. Yeah, say again with me, everybody. Ni, ni hao. hao. Very good. <laughs> ni is you. Hao is good. So very simple. You good. You, ni hao, which means hi, how are you? Which means you good. You are good. Ni hao. Ni hao. Very ni good. Hao. Okay, very easy, very simple to learn. Yes, because I want to let people know, even the Tai Chi uh, differences is, is slow motion or movement, but also can use for, not just for adult, older people, also for youth, for girls. Why? Because for youth, they learn self-defense. They have built out their confidence, the body, the build up for like keep the strength. So each six many I will focus on, for example, like a self, self sting, self uh, defense. And the other talk about adult, older people to let the movement can help them maintain their health, uh, their balance. So each one people understand what's the differences Tai Chi or yoga, or different kind of sport. So that's why. Tai Chi and Qi Go is good for you. Come try to come try to my class. Come to my school. I give you a class, first class for free. Just try to learn with me to feel the energy, the tranquility together. Well, thank you, Fang. Thank you. Thank you.